Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location and check, 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 check it out. We have got a big dock, water, trees, Sasquatch right over here, pretty much everything that you would want in a single picture. But this is the daily challenge, meaning it's up to me to figure out where in the world we are. And, I don't know, I mean, I said Czech a lot. Why don't we go with the Czech Republic? Is there a lot of lakes here? Is there a big one? Ooh, this looks like a lake. It's a big river. Is there a big lake somewhere? Sure, that looks like a nice lake right there. Near Where are we near? We're near Poland? Okay, sure. Let's go with that. Let's say we're right there. Well, that sounds fun to me. Boom! And the answer was Germany. Not the Czech Republic. Uh, near this lake over here in... New Brandenburg, New Brandenburg, and there you go, we've got that, and the Sasquatch was last sighted right around here, 2436, very nice, hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. Alright, here we are, in today's daily challenge location, and we have got a very cool spot indeed, it is, well, a beach, Kind of, although it does seem like we are quite high above sea level. Uh, but it's very sandy, and it's got these cool grassy dunes, um, which are quite nice. But more importantly, this seems like a place where families come to hang out. And it's got these sticks. It, it really is nice wood. If you look at, like, these, the, the sort of the big branches or logs, they you can really see the grain in the wood. They, it looks nice. But uh, it is definitely an interesting, an interesting structure. I wonder if it has some kind of significance. I'm sure it does, or m maybe it doesn't. But it seems like people like coming around here, hanging out with it, you know, hanging up their bags and stuff like that, and just uh, taking a look at the beautiful ocean, sea, lake. I don't know what this body of water is, but it definitely is something. And today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world you think this is. In tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you're interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are? Right now. All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we have got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than someone new to sending in challenges. That would be Hunter Draxy. That's right, Hunter Draxy. Thank you so much for this challenge. This one has no theme, so we can be pretty much anywhere in the world, or maybe there is a secret theme that we're going to find out as we go along. If you're interested in creating your own custom challenge, and I am always looking for new challenges all you need to do is look down in the comment section below not the comment section the description below to find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me also you can find the link to this one so you can play along yourself so thank you so much hunter draxy for this let's get right to it boom shakalaka we are on some kind of skating rink and i know exactly which one wow i didn't know that these pictures existed we are on the rito canal well, there you go. That is, uh, that's fantastic. And this building right over here is the University of Ottawa. Um, now, we've got, uh, we got some cool neighborhoods over here. This is, uh, this neighborhood right here is, is quite a, quite a nice neighborhood. Affectionately known as the Golden Triangle. Um, yeah, it's not the Glebe. The Glebe is across the other side of this bridge. Also, um, well, it's hard to tell. It's pro the Glebe is a, f a known as a fancier area, but my God, Golden Triangle properties are redonkulously expensive for honestly not that nice houses because the houses that are there, although some of them are, are quite nice and relatively old, you know, for a city that is you know a hundred, two hundred years old at most probably founded sometime in the 1820s, um, you know, and those houses definitely aren't from there, you know, the oldest houses you're going to find here are maybe from the 1890s, if I had to guess, um, or maybe a little bit earlier than that, who knows, but uh, there you go, uh, Golden Triangle houses, they're not super fancy, it's not like mansions or anything like that, but uh, the property values are very high, that's why it's called the Golden Triangle. This looks like it was taken this year, uh, because I think... I think these the these structures are new to this year's canal. I don't think they were around last year 
or winter 2014. I think they were they were just a winter 2015 experience. Um, it, it's very cool. I mean, it made the canal look a lot nicer. And this year was really great on the canal because you got a whole lot of days of skating. My God, last time you really, really didn't get very much skating to do at all on the uh, on the canal. Uh, it always warmed up, but this year, my God, there was like two months or maybe even three of some good um, of some of some good skating and uh, these buildings here you know you can go in put up your put on your skates get warm because you know sometimes you do get cold out here on the ice uh, it uh, it is it, you know it's a, it's a good it's a good thing a lot nicer than the old shacks they used to have apparently here you can get maple taffy maple taffy is honestly delicious worth the three dollars even though it's essentially it's it's really good if you've never had maple taffy which is just essentially boiled maple syrup poured onto snow and then they take a popsicle stick and roll it up uh it's like boiled condensed maple syrup uh that is really hot and poured onto snow and they roll it up in a popsicle stick and it tastes very good as well you know it's kind of like it's kind of like a, a maple you know lollipop but not really because it's it's gummy and chewy and you know takes like a few you know it, it takes like a few seconds to eat but uh it is it is very good something that is quite delicious and you got beaver tails over here uh that's just a like a dough it's a it's just a pastry you can get it's a fried bread dough if you get a beaver tails don't get any of the stupid kinds like the crap with the maple sauce and the chocolate or the bananas or the savory kinds with like pizza toppings no no Stick to the original, and the original is cinnamon sugar, but don't go for that. Go for Killalo Sunrise, which is cinnamon sugar with lemon on top. That is good. This hot apple cider nonsense, just ignore that. That you don't you can get that anywhere in the world. You don't need to you don't you don't need to. If you're going on a trip to Ottawa, say, uh, you know, at least enjoy something that is you know, that, that at least sort of it may be unique to Ottawa, although maple taffy and beaver tails can be found all across Canada. I can guarantee you that this cuisine here, uh, home of the Tibetan Momo, I've never heard of that, Asian taste, you can find an Asian taste adventure in, all, in every city in the world, and you can go to Asia to find more authentic Asian tastes, but uh, there you go, if you're coming to Ottawa and you're on the canal, that is weird, I didn't know that they had the restaurants like this, you know, I mean, the, the hot apple cider, sure, I mean, it's gonna be crappy apple cider, and the soup thing kind of makes sense, too, but Tibetan Momo, I mean, it sounds interesting, I'd be down to have it, wouldn't go to the canal to have it, let me tell you that much, I'd go to maybe, like, a proper restaurant, but I'm interested into knowing what that was, <laughs> maybe I'll look into it, and there you go, you got people skating, going on and on, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a far journey, uh, the canal is quite long. It goes, uh, well, the skatable part, you know, the canal, yeah, it's not really that much longer. The skatable part goes from right, well, okay, this, this bridge right here, it starts right about here. Uh, you can't go under this bridge uh, to the locks that are here. And it extends all the way out to Dow's Lake. And I, I don't know, I think you get blocked out somewhere like around here. So you get all of this skating area to do, and then we were right here on the canal, uh, which is pretty cool. If we make this, uh, if we make this bend, uh, you can see maybe a little bit more uh, familiar sights of Ottawa. If you know that, ah, we're not really going to see the Parliament, but we do see um, Chateau Laurier, which is right over here, which is uh, the hot uh, quite famous hotel that is. Uh, right over here in Ottawa. The Parliament is behind these trees, if you are interested in knowing where things are from this point of view. And right over here is the University of Ottawa. Though, no, okay, every building that should be seen from here is seen from there. I just got a bit confused. I was looking for this building right here, but of course it is there. I think this was taken in 2015. Let's make the guess, and the answer was, oh, nine points off? Okay, a little bit less far down there. 64, 70, boom! Where are we now? We are somewhere quite different. I don't know where we are, but let's go check out some signs. We're in Europe. We are in a country that uh, speaks French, uh, which is good. 
and we have a lot of mountains. So there you go. Uh, Alpine infantry. That's interesting. What else do we have? So we're in a... Well, we could be in the French Alps. We could also, I guess, be in certain parts of Switzerland. I highly doubt we're going to be anywhere in Belgium. So we're either in the French Alps or maybe certain parts of the Swiss Alps. That's about it, really. And based on the license plates, which appear to be EU license plates, and we got some yellow license plates, I think that means conclusively that we are in France, which is very cool because I highly doubt that um, Switzerland uses EU license plates. Um, also, we've got some uh, D roads over here. Let's see, do we see anything about this place? Something, 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 something. Uh, I can't really tell. That's too bad. D900 and all directions. All directions is this way? All right, let's go to the all. Oh, come on, really? Look at this camera. That is atrocious. Is this the all directions? Where's the all directions? Vars downtown is there's the sign that says um hmm, okay well that doesn't really help me too much let's just go look in france what can we see gap okay that helps so gap is there and we can see so gap is north so there's the d900 d900 is that way so if we follow it we wind up in Remelon and the uh, the Durance. No, that's Lubai. Interesting. Do we have any sort of word where that is? It's going to be very hard, but it, we're, we're right around this area. We're right around this area somewhere. Now, what is the name of this place? We got Ding and the and Gap. Now, where is, where is Ding? I can't see it anywhere there. Veins, no, nothing like that. Chorges. There's really, as far as I can tell, there's not, hold on, what, what did that, did that say? No. Is there anything over here that I can particularly see? Okay. Cuneo. That seems to be where we are. We're in a place called Cuneo or something like that. But I, I have no idea where that is. Oh, there's Ding. Okay. So Ding and Gap are there. And those are in kind of opposite directions. But if those are all from this way, Chorges... Chorges is kind of seemed like okay, but Ding is up there. And do we have... Oh, uh, God. I'm never going to find it, am I? I really, really doubt I'm going to find something that says Cuneo around here. Like, I, it's got to be here. D900. Oh, Lubai. Barcelonet. Okay, well, we have to be in Barcelonet. It kind of has to be right, because we got D902 and D900 that just comes out of the same place, and it's on Lubai. That's, I, I have to go with it. So we were likely right around here. So we make the guess, and that was indeed where we were, 6444. All right. Now we can see a language that I'm going to just guess is German. Oh, good. Look at that. This letter helps a whole lot. Now, can we tell where we are by looking at this? E plus group. Uh, the answer is... No, that can't that can't be a place. Although, it looks, it looks like it could be the name of a place. Actually, hold on. This van might tell us where we are. All right, van. Where are we? Okay, no. We're D. That's Germany. I know that much. But do you know where we are? Glass, glass, Desher, uh, glass, fast, Shadden. Um, maybe that's just like what they do. Maybe we're in this place down here, like something with that starts with a P. 
A city that starts with a P in Germany. Well, we could always go and yeah, constructing art. I get it. Maybe we could go look. What about this van? Is that a currywurst? Oh, there you go. That's an interesting combination. Sounds good. There you go. Get it right out of this van. Well, that sounds like fun. What do we get here? Is there anything? This truck? No, the truck trucks never are a good indication of where we are. Some are, but I don't know about that one. It probably could be anywhere in Germany if it even says the name of a place on it. Now, again, I could go look at these highway signs. Those are those are going to be quite valuable. The real question is, can I get to them? And the answer looks to be no. All right. Well, we're okay. We're in a town in Germany, it starts with a P. Can we see one? Postdam, maybe. Uh, other than that, can't really see much. Go in this area over here where it seems we always are, and really see nothing of good use. That's too bad. All right, let's keep looking. Maybe, maybe we'll see something. Paderborn, we could be there. What does that say? That says. Uh, Luftfratch, and then Dus. Well, could that be a, a reference to Dusseldorf? Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I have no idea. Let's keep moving. Then, what have we got? Are we near, like, a international airport or shipping area? I know the highway is that way. Um, Zentrum, that probably just means downtown or something like that. Uh, Unterart, I don't know what that means, and I don't know what that means, and that means something else. Okay, but, okay, classic Nokia, Skytrain. Hmm, is there, well, maybe if we go this way. Okay, this looks like it might help. Something, something, Ein, Einfart. Is that what that says? It, it does. Okay. Hmm. Well, is there anything around here? Uh, that's a big, that's a big word. It starts with a G. But does it really help in this particular situation? Not really. And I don't even know where to look. I could go look around there. Arrivals, cargo... Arrivals to where? That sign seems to have left. Actually, where was Arrivals? Hold on. Arrivals was... Let's go look at where Arrivals is. Arrivals is... Arrivals is down that way. So we're going to go down this way. And we're going to try and see maybe if we go to Arrivals, it'll either tell us where we are or there'll be a road heading out telling people where to go like hey go this way to get to this place or this way to get to there Dusair Cargo International well all right I am gonna guess around Dusseldorf just because it seems like it makes sense but other than that I don't know what kind of airport this is this, is, this might not be the main international airport I don't think it is I don't think this is the main international airport at all, but we can do that. Uh, boy, no, no idea. Oh, hold on, look at that. That sign's gonna help. We got a big sign right here. Oh, you can't eat. Oh, well, all right, that's it. Dusseldorf. Uh, we got an airport. Where do we do we see one? Do we see an airport around here anywhere? No? All right. Well, what about around this way? Do we see an airport? No, again. All right. Well, I'm just going to go and guess around like here. Let's make the guess. And the answer was, yeah. Yeah, pretty close, if I'm being honest. Uh, the answer was, did I click on, okay, this must be, yeah, that's where we were. Cool. So there was an airport right over there in the middle of Duisburg and Dusseldorf. Very good. 6089. Wow, I can't believe I got that close. Okay, another airport. Online Lotto. Gel Tip 24. 
Um, interesting. Euros. Well, that's good to note. The language. I'm still, still a bit, still a, a bit, tr a bit iffy on. Baggage. Wow, a lot of languages. I mean, we're at a European airport, so that makes a lot of sense. But the real question is, I've been I've been fooled in airports before. The key is actually, if we go look at this. All right, that seems like there's a chance that that is Spanish, if I had to guess. So an airport in Spain. Well, there you go. You can get two minutes, one euro for a McDonald's hamburger. That's that's uh, that's a that's the that's the price. Although actually, that's just that looked like it was just a hamburger. Interesting. You can get a McDouble here for the price of one euro which is essentially just a hamburger with a second patty. There you go. What do you have? And you can get, um, and I think McDonald's actually does have a dollar menu in America. It's slightly more expensive here in Canada, especially if you do the, well, actually, you know what? I don't know if McDonald's prices have gone up since the uh, dollar has gone down. So maybe nowadays uh, Canadian McDonald's isn't particularly more expensive, but um, who knows since the dollar went down. Mallorca, okay, that is, well, Mallorca, where is Mallorca again? Now, I always look at it, and I always think, Mallorca, is that Malaga? No, it's not. It's another place completely, isn't it? Mallorca. That name rings a lot of bells, but I just don't know. No, it's not on here. Come on now. What am I thinking? I I don't know what I'm thinking, really, but we can go look around. Mallorca, I feel like, I feel like that's a decent place. What is that, an airport? Uh, yeah, it is an international airport. Industrial airport? Uh, no. It's not, an, it's not an international airport, is it? I mean, Mallorca is the name of, like, the area that this is in. But I feel like this is a, an okay guess. Hmm. Well, let's let's keep going. This is not like... Uh, what do we have here? We have Valencia. Is there... I mean, there's going to be, like, a real airport of Valencia. That that's That's good. But I'm a bit confused. I probably should be looking as to where I'm going instead of just going down these terminals uh, endlessly. But that pretty much tells us where we are. And the real answer is where does that mean we really are? And sadly, I just, I just don't know. I don't... What is this? What is, what is this language? That is that is what I'm so confused. Maybe that isn't Spanish. But that's not Portuguese either. I'm I'm very confused. What language? What language is this? Um it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like Italian, is it? No, that wouldn't really make sense. Would it no? Is it going to be something weird like on, on here, on Sardinia? Ooh, I'm not doing nearly as well as I should be. And it's not going to be, like, uh, it's not going to be up here. Oh, I feel like I kind of have to go Malaga, although I don't really think that's where we are, which is the part that's too bad. But I feel like that is where, where we are. I'm just quite confused by the language and by by a few things, really. All right, well, we can see departures and we can see all of that. I have to make the guess. And the answer was Mallorca's name of the island. That's why I always was, was going back and looking at it. That's what I forgot. The name of this island is Mallorca. That's why I knew Mallorca was something, but I didn't... Uh, I, I just I just couldn't remember, but I kept looking at it, and for whatever reason, I never saw it. That's too bad. All right, well, there is the uh, there's the airport Palma. I should have paid more attention to that because it said it. 
And I saw, oh, I should have, I should have looked more. I could have found found that one out. That's too bad. Twenty three oh six. All right, we're oh great. Oh, okay. Well, we're in Canada, so that's a good thing. Uh, and this actually might. Oh, we're in Ottawa. Well, that's fantastic. Now I've got to say, where the hell is Mariposa Avenue? I don't know. K one M. Oh, Jesus, it's, it's K one M. Uh, now, that's, okay, K1M, downtown is K1N, so K1M has to be near downtown, because I do think some places, like Canada and stuff, go like K2 and K3, uh, so this is, it's around downtown, this was a tip that we were in Canada, uh, right here, uh, but I, I have to say, I do not know off the top of my head where Mariposa Avenue is. So, that's not going to be good. Do we see... Well, what kind of a place is this? Let's explore this place yet again and find out where where we really are. Because I've got to admit, uh, I don't, don't really... Don't really know what kind of a building this is. Okay, it's got lots of flags. It's got like... Uh, it's got lots of people in harmony. Is it like a... Uh, some kind of a clinic or something, or... I don't know. There's lots of people on Harmony, lots of flags. We saw the other... We saw this. There you go. That's good. Hand washing. Maybe that's the only reason. I mean, if it's very clean and tile-like. Uh, Kate has lost her black iPhone 5, everyone. So if you guys keep an eye out for it, maybe we'll find it on the floor. If you know where it is, then... Also, you know, it, it kind of looks like... Kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a hospital. Interesting. Do I think this is like, maybe if I go look out here, oh. Ashbury, oh, Ashbury. Where the hell is Ashbury again? This is like some, this is like some fancy private school, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. My god, it's quite nice. I have to say, I have to say that it is pretty nice, but I also have to say that I don't know where it is. Ashbury. Um That is interesting. Where where is it? Oh, Frisbee Golf. My goodness, look at that. Heather Gillen residence. Is it, is it, is it like a boarding school? Maybe it is. That might that may or may not make sense. That's interesting. I've heard of it a lot, and it does it does look like huh, it looks like it looks like if I had to make a guess, just based on like these kind of lamps and the trees that we're gonna be in, that we're gonna be in the sort of near Dow's Lake area of of Ottawa, like around over here. But honestly, other than that, I, I don't really know. Because I don't... I mean, I've heard of Ashbury, of course, but I don't know anyone who's been. Uh, and I've never been on the grounds of the school. It's a... It, it is like a... Is it, it's, it's a high school, right? It's not like... It's not anything more than that. It's... I don't think it is, at least... I do not think that it's anything more than some kind of high school or maybe some kind of boarding school. I don't really know, to be honest. I feel like I feel like I heard a lot more about it in my high school days, uh, going to one of the many uh, public high schools in Ottawa, or maybe going to several of the public high schools in Ottawa. But uh, I, I don't quite remember. Don't quite remember anything about this. Well, I think we've gotten everything I can I can do. I can start looking for it. Uh, no, it's not near the Arboretum. It's not near the Experimental Farm. It could be near Carlton. I don't know. It could even be like it could even be like this building near the highway or this 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 area here. It's I don't think it's not in, it's not in the Glebe. It's I don't know where. I have no idea where this is gonna be. It's going to be... I, I seriously have no idea. Where the hell is, is it going to be far? Is it going to be in the Rockcliffe area? No, it's not going to be. I, I, I know... I would know about that. Uh, about that. If that was some... If that was somewhere. 
Um, Beechwood Cemetery. There is an interesting area in uh, in Ottawa, and it's uh, it's this whole area over here. This entire area is actually completely abandoned. There's nothing here. In fact, these roads don't even really exist anymore. Uh, it's really interesting. This uh, used to be a military base, and now it's completely empty. Very, very interesting. Uh, it wasn't completely empty until a few years ago, but now it is. I seriously have no idea where this is. Is it going to be like in... No, it's not going to be there. Wow. I, I don't know. I have no idea. It's going to... I, yeah, I just don't know. I'll just guess, like, I'll just say it's the experimental farm. It's not, but let's make the guess. The answer was, oh, it is in Rockcliffe Park. Well, there you go. Ashbury College. Yeah, okay, it's in Rockcliffe Park. That explains a lot about it. Now, this is a neighborhood with fancy mansion homes, if you're wondering uh, about that. Uh, that that That's the neighborhood with all the, uh, with all the fancy mansions in Ottawa. You can go, it's right over here. I guess Ashbury is within it. I, uh, I wasn't aware of that, which is interesting, because, I mean, like, Rockcliffe Park really isn't far away, I mean, I've been there, I've been there a whole lot, especially, uh, like, the parks along this road and stuff like that, uh, there's, you know, there's this very nice, uh, Ottawa River Parkway is really nice around here, Aviation Museum is over here, so, been, been around there a lot, and, in fact, um, New Edinburgh and Vanier, which is over here. I mean, it's, it's pretty funny how close it is to Vanier because Vanier is like not a particularly uh, well-regarded neighborhood in in Ottawa. There you go. There's Rockcliffe Park, but yeah, Big Beechwood Cemetery. Interesting, interesting indeed. There you go. Fifty-nine thirty-three. I've learned something new about the city I live in, and that is where is Ashbury College because I literally had no idea where it actually was. I don't think I've spent too much time actually going in here, but I do remember that uh, it was a hot tip back in the day that on Halloween, if you wanted to get the good candy and you wanted to uh, make the trip out to Rockcliffe Park to so go uh, door to door trick or treating, you can get some uh, full size chocolate bars by going door to door there. Uh, so there you go, fifty nine thirty three. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. I think it's over. Yes, it is. Uh, we went off starting in, where the hell is A? Oh, yeah, that's right. A was Ottawa, Rideau Canal. Uh, very cool spot. B is, uh, Barcelonette in France. C was this airport over here in between Dusseldorf and Duisburg. Then we went off to Mallorca, which I forgot where it was. And, uh, I knew it wasn't Malaga, but... I believe Malaga is Malaga. Uh, I don't think that actually changes. Uh, especially because it, I think well, it's written here with an accent on the A. So really, that's not an English thing. Uh, so Mallorca, that makes a lot of sense. And finally, we were back in Ottawa finding out where the hell Ashbury is. And as it turns out, it's actually real close by. It's just in Rockcliffe Park. An area that I haven't been... I've been around it a whole lot. I just haven't really been inside a, a, a lot a, at all. In fact, I don't... I can't even remember a time when I've really even been to McKay Lake. I mean, this is like right around. I've been so much around so many other places. I just haven't spent a lot of time in Rockcliffe Park. Maybe I'll make a journey out of it. Actually go inside instead of circling around it like I have all the time. So, it's not even that big of an area. 27 to... 42. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.